Hello, hello. Welcome to uh, Risk of Rain 2 now. New DLC is out today. I'm very, very excited. Um, I was out for a couple of days, so that's why I know solo explicator updates or stream or anything, but we are back home. And as much as I am able to do so, I will uh, be doing that more soon, because I was very close to getting it before I left. Before we get into Risk of Rain 2, I do, however, want to read the patch notes, and I'm going to spend some time in the logbook. Excuse me. Uh, so it might be boring for you guys, sorry, but I'm kind of geeky about this stuff, and I want to see all of the... Excuse me, I want to see all of the new while it's still uh, new. So, all that being said... Uh, let's look. Um, I'm not gonna read all that, but bug fixes is good, and quality of life features is good, and balance patches. <clears throat> it should be interesting, excuse me. If, uh, if there's anything I would want from balance patch, I hope they buff void band, because void band is kind of poo-poo besides the sucking everything in effect. That's great. The damage is poo-poo. Alright, added five stages... Shattered Abodes, Reformed Altar, Treeborn Colony, Helminth Hatchery, and Secret, which is probably the stage the new bosses, the new final boss is going to be on. Variants of Viscous Falls. Oh, so instead of Burden, you'd get Viscous, Golden Dieback, not sure what that is, and Disturbed Impact, that sounds cool. Bulwark's Ambry var Variants, that is interesting to me. I am curious what that is going to be like. Why would I want to go back there? specifically maybe we'll find out i do have to go there actually there's one of the new artifacts that they dropped in the update a few months ago i got the egg one with the lemurians but i didn't get the other one interactables halcyon shrine gilded blessing aurelia knight geode secret secret three monsters scorch worms that's the worm guy that you saw in some of the trailers, Child, of course, from Risk of Rain 1, and Halcyonite, uh, which I'm assuming is a mini Aurelianite kind of deal. Added balls to affixes. Not sure what's an affix. And, okay, here's our items. Um, no new void items, very sad. But for items, we have Knockback Fin, Bolstering Lantern, Antler Shield, Chronic Expansion, Warped Echo. We might see these in the logbook. Uh, I'm curious if I have to unlock any of these or not. Green, we have Noxious Thorn, Sail Star, Chance Stall, Luminous Shot, Prayer Beads, Unstable Transmitter. For our legendaries, we have Sonorous Whispers, Growth Nectar, Electric Boomerang, Runic Lens, and War Bonds. And then we have a new Lunar, interestingly, Long Standing Solitude, new yellow item, 16 alternate skins. So I'm assuming these three are for beating the game on Monsoon with those characters and then these uh some people are thinking it might be path of the colossus skins for beating that whatever that is maybe that's the path to the new, new final boss don't know um but new skins is very cool i'm surprised that we've got one for every character that's a lot but i'm pretty excited hopefully we get some good ones i'm very curious about the void fiend skin um because I like Void Fiend. And yeah, some of these I don't think we've even seen or heard anything about. Uh, aim assist, directional UI, damage indicators added. That's really cool, actually. We'll, we'll have to check that out. Um, oh, Blind Pest and Brass Contraption will miss the first shot if they are off the screen. That, that is really cool because it is such... An awful, awful feeling to, like, have a, a blind pest, like, show up and not play the noise because sometimes it shows up silently. It doesn't play the spawn noise. And then it shoots you and it does, like, a truckload of damage because how would you know? Menu umbrella settings added to turn, etc., etc. Uh, okay, so menu changes. Reworks to printers and scrappers. Interesting. There was no ui really for the printer so i'm wondering what's that going to be item interactable inspection that sounds cool in-game logbook 
That is really cool. Multiplayer pausing. That might be fun. Teleported visuals improved. That's cool. If you don't know the stages, you know, a lot of people have a hard time. That's I can see why that's a reason some people would maybe drop the game is because finding the teleporter is really hard if you don't know the maps. Because some maps are kind of weird. Uh, tutorial for Drizzle. Okay, that's cool. Um, bugs. Engineer turret to be deployed more than once per charge. Okay. Not sure if I even knew about some of these things. Ah, this must be grandparent. Okay. Um... Oh, for Switch. Eclipse on Switch. Ah. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. Okay. Okay, we can get into the game now. Uh, give me just one minute. I do have to check on something unrelated. Uh, check on something unrelated for one of my uh, one of my friends. So we'll be right back. All right, um, let me go ahead and launch up the old Risk Rooney. And let's see, game. Oh, wow, the last time I used game capture was for Final Fantasy XII. Ooh, no, 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 free my cursor. I don't know if you guys, oh, shoot, I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, look, look, look. They added the uh they added coloration to the Risk of Rain 1 original commando sprite on the loading screen. I thought that was cool. This game is weird about alt tabbing when it's loading. I wanted to be sure that Oh my gosh, my ears. I I haven't worn headphones when I played this game in a while. Oh no, it's going to play the intro. No, let me skip. It's so loud, it's blasting my ears out. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, they have changed the menu. Whoa, okay. I, it does not like my... Uh... Oh, toggle art. Oh. Oh. Oh, toggle ha Oh, interesting. Oh my gosh, hang on, let me fix audio. Oh, they reset my whole audio. Well, no wonder. Holy smokes, that was so loud. Alright, I'm also going to turn my sound down just a little bit compared to the music, because I, I do want to hear specifically the music while playing, because uh, I have not listened to the whole soundtrack yet. All right, now what is up with my resolution? Why are we playing on 480p? What is the deal here? Give me my 1440p, please. And 120 frame limit. Yeah. Okay, that looks substantially better. Texture resolution. Bring that down a little bit. This game looks kind of... Let's clean up. Oh my gosh. Did they change my entire visual settings from what I had it? Um, I think everything else we can leave alone. They really reverted all my settings back to what they were. Alright, I don't want to turn it down anymore. If, uh, if you guys can't hear me or something, you'll just have to let me know. I don't think I have specific keybinds for this game. 
Uh, screen shake scale. Let's turn that down a little bit because I don't love having screen shake in Risk of Rain. Umbrella features. Directional damage indicator. I'll leave that alone. Um, don't know what that is, but that's cool. Not gonna do that. Uh, oh, that's actually a really handy quality of life feature. I'll uh, I'll do that. We'll see that. Teleporter particle scaling. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see what that is like, so I will also turn that on. These are some cool quality of life features. This is literally the one setting that they did not revert, was my crossplay setting. Wait, what else is new in settings? Why is it saying new? I've looked at everything. Ping. Controller. Alright, well, I don't know why it's saying new. Um. Alright. Five new white items, one, two, three, four, five, six green items, and then one, two, three, four, five red items. There's a lunar. I'm a little sad no new void items, because I like void items. New equipment, they didn't mention that. And then, let's see. So it looks like three monsters, and I guess with the false sun, that might be the only new boss. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 new environments. Okay. Okay. And then that is Seeker. That, I'm assuming, is... Well, yeah. And then uh, this is like, the Walks Recipe and Reformed Altar. That's Chef, of course. Uh, what else do we have in here? Prime Meridian. Okay, so Prime Meridian, that must be the False Sun thing. We'll just clear this up real quick and then get into a standard run. As Seeker. No, oh, I don't have Seeker. Does not matter. Wait, uh, do I have Seeker? Oh! Wait! Do I have Seeker? Oh, they start you with Seeker! Yo! Oh, snap! I'm gonna have to play Seeker, I guess. So, let me... Oh my gosh, my head. Ah! So, this is the hand from the ground. Take flight. Okay, so if you fly for too long, you start, to... you start taking damage. Execute time sequences to... Okay, so you can do damage, heal, or gain tranquility. And then, yeah, okay. Okay, interesting. Hit three or more airborne enemies with a single use of spirit punch. Which I'm assuming I can just do wisps, probably. All right. Let's get a... Whoa! Look at that little thing! Okay, so you have to hold it down to get the exploding third hit. Okay, ignore that. You, you don't actually have to do that. It's just if you shoot too slow, it doesn't do the third hit. I'm imagining the best way to get that uh, ability thing. Or the, the unlock for Seeker that we saw. I'm assuming the best way to do that is with um, command. You just give yourself like a crowbar or something. Whiff two, and then if you got a group of like three wisps in the air. Uh, down, down, down. No. Okay. I suck. I thought it was going to be the arrow keys, and not my actual, like, directional inputs. Okay. 
Hang on, let me... I'm gonna try to group these wisps up. Get this thing. If we get a if we get a big group, I'll try to keep an eye out for that. Uh, left, right, right, down, left. A little mini game is kind of fun. So I wonder, can you interrupt the? Oh, you can knock enemies into the air using the secondary, and then. Interesting. So if I were to get like a little crowd going. Yeah, I think that's easier to do on Wisp still, but... Yeah. Alright, so when it says... Oh! Well, that's nice. I'm not wasting my time here just playing with uh, the abilities. It's an interesting character. I don't love the primary attack. It doesn't feel very impactful, but the... Hmm. Interesting. So if I... Tab inspect printable item. Oh! Huge. I see. That's nice of them. Ah. Oh, okay. New item. Gain damage after killing enemies in quick succession. Hmm. Neat. I'm spending so long on this stage. This definitely doesn't feel like a good survivor for like... It doesn't feel fantastic for damage dealing. Uh, but for support potential, I can see like... Being able to, like, heal and self-heal and, like, revive allies with this. Alright, so I haven't seen the teleporter anywhere. I'm assuming it's... 
I'm assuming it's in the cave. Whoa, wait, I did not notice this. Interesting, now what is this? Ooh, when the shrine is activated, it begins siphoning gold until a maximal gold amount has been stored. Interacting with the shrine slumberings off. Oh, that was a slumbering house all night. Okay, so... Take my money. Oh, very cool. You can see the gold filling up. So, it said that ending the shrine early summoned a Halcyonite. Not that I know what that means. So, what happens when it reaches the top? Whoa, what? Whoa! What are you? Oh, you're the thing. Gilded. Oh, it's a new elite type. Hmm, interesting. I don't know what that means. You're draining gold? Okay, so I get too close, it drains gold or something. Oh, what? You took my money. Oh, it's got so much health, I don't really have good damage items. Eh. No. Watch, my only damage. Oh, no, don't take my money. My money is for the pillar and the pillar alone. Alright, the storm beckons. Oh, well that's good, because I want to seek the storm. Green portal. Ooh, I hit my DPI button. Alright. And... Receive blessings. Uh, a new item. Item stores experience and gives stats on item removal. And then, what's this third one do? Secondary skill uses increased primary skills next shot damage. Oh. Interesting idea. Oh, cool. Now let's get rid of this stake here. Okay, so now Scrapper shows you like what you're getting rid of. That's good, I would say. I've spent 10 minutes here. I know that's not like the worst thing in the world in Discovering 2, but I do like to be a little more efficient. Interesting. Alright, we're going through the green portal. Reformed altar. Oh my gosh! Hey, stop that. Yo. Gambling. Dude, what? This is such an interesting looking stage. 
So is this like an alternate stage progression then to like the vanilla stage progression? Oh my gosh, perforator printer. I gotta remember that. Oh my gosh, dude, I wanna explore. All right. Dude, this is neat. Like seriously, the vibe is so much different than anything that we've really seen in Risk of Rain, like besides a couple of stages. Ow. No, I bumped it again. Ow. Oh, that's a foot. Dude, the environment here is so different. I'm really quite fascinated. Man, they'd be taking a lot of health from you. My turret alone. Be healed, gunner turret. I think if I want to unlock the thing, I'm just gonna have to go into a game with command. It does not seem to be the kind of thing that will uh, really happen naturally, except by pure coincidence. Here, what is this? Add ingredient. Oh, oh, he wants slug, and oh no, I gave up a steak. No, no, I gave up the steak on the. Oh my gosh, it was all things that I wanted. So slug, steak, and infusion. I should not have put those in there. Now I don't have those items. I wonder. If are those all things that I could find on this stage, or were they just, like, items picked from my inventory? Or... Oh, man, I could have had Chef. Well, how would I have known? Oh no, never mind. This way. Is there a stake anywhere? Interesting. So now, now that I'm on this path, all the teleporters should have green portals, I assume. Oh shoot. Oh, problem.
Oh, I'm so dead. I do not have any kind of damage output for this. Maybe I do. Oh, they do seem to be dying. Except that one. And I really need to get that steak before I leave. No! There's a chest there. Maybe the chest has it. Man, you got so much healing and seeker. Can't tell if I have enough to make this not break my watch. I'm not getting a whole lot of items. That was an interesting stage. Treeborn Colony. It's so... It's so weird having, like, this totally different progression path to stages. Like, this is really... This is a really good idea, honestly. Because just having, like, the, um... Oh, right. I need to, uh... You know, just adding extra stages to the normal stage pool kind of dilutes it. So having this totally different, like, path of stages that you can take is a really good idea. Oh, we've even got a bazaar. So, uh, if I take the bazaar portal, do I lose out on the path of the Colossus? Does it take me back to normal? I wonder if taking the uh, green portal again sends me back to, or no, because I took the green portal to get here. I don't think I want to risk the bazaar. I'll, I'll have to check that out in, like a different. This character feels a little more powerful than it initially seemed. It's just the the feeling of a projectile. Didn't feel super powerful to me at first. Oh look, it's a it's a newt altar. Very cool. Ow! Whoa, what? Ow! Ow! Okay. Hmm. 
I'm debating, do I want to play more Seeker? Because I... Like, it's kind of cool, but... I'm not that... Seeker doesn't feel, like, super great to play to me. Eh, I don't know. What does Tranquility do to you? Gain... Oh, you gain continuously more stats over time? Oh, well, no wonder Seeker was starting to feel better. It's because I was getting more Tranquility. Okay. Okay. Alright, I see. So basically the goal is to just spam this thing to make yourself more powerful over time. Uh, that's cool. I want to play Void Fiend. I was wondering why my meter was going down for a second, and then I realized I uh, went sicko mode. Kind of looked away for a second. Hmm. Passive money maker. No, come back. And the items look a lot crisper now than they did before the update. I appreciate that change. So I wonder what a second stack of antler shield does. Dude, that inspect thing is such a cool addition. It's a shame that, like, while you're inspecting, you can't sprint or anything. Let's see, is there another gold thingy here? There it is. I want to do that, but I don't have a whole lot of money. Ooh, hold on. Infinite money. Ton of money now. 
wonder if... I guess you can do the regular teleporter after you do this, can't you? In fact, I probably should have considered doing that last time. Okay. Okay, so because I defeated the big beefy one last time, that's why I got three items. Alright, that's cool. Alright, this time I'm not going to scrap anything, because I know I want the best chance at having shit. What a cool looking boss. Hey, no, don't suck my money. No. Oh, no, I don't have as much range as I did on Seeker. Way more damage, though. Yeah, okay. That was noticeably more damage. Ooh, I'll take that and that and that. Another antler shield. Yeah, sir. Oh, that's right. I should also see Blitz incoming damage. People were talking about this. Not knowing really what it, what does it mean to split incoming damage. Do you know what? I bet we could read that in the logbook, actually. Hold on. Uh, Warp Deco. Where is this? On damage taken, 50% is dealt immediately, while the other 50% is delayed for 3 seconds. Interesting. So that's just long enough for certain healing items like medkit to take effect. Interesting. That's a really... Wow. Okay. And then this thing... Yeah, okay. That's basically... Yeah, interesting. It's basically like Frenzy from Destiny. That's kind of cool. And then this thing absorbs experience. Uh, using the secondary skill charge as primary attack. Yep. Chance on hit to reflect damage back to the attacker. Interesting. Okay, so you can still do the teleporter after you've done the little gold draining thingy. What is going on with my audio? Why is it so loud? Yeah, I don't care about charging that teleporter. Hopefully it fixes itself by the time we get to the next stage. I don't know why it's so loud. It seems to have fixed itself, so I guess don't go in the logbook in-game if you don't want to get your ears blasted out. Ooh, there's a void seed here. Very cool. Oh, not cool! Not good, 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 not good. Thank you. You've done your country a great service. Alright. This looks different from last time. I must have spawned where the teleporter was. Yeah, I remember this area. Alright, this is kind of where the teleporter was. I'm going to wait in these multi-shops till we know what Chef wants this time. 
in case I buy something dumb and mess it up. guy is a barnacle over there somewhere. Where are you? Oh my gosh, he's like inside the rock. Uh, no, I don't want to make... I don't want to do that in case Chef wants my key. No, he got the rat. Get him. Ooh, see that damage delay effect from the uh, item. That's interesting. Uh, I don't think I have tri-tips, so this should be safe to pick up. Where was Chef? Was he, like, over there somewhere? Gosh, there's so many of you guys. Oh, man, that'd be the perfect time to do the little seeker achievement. Alright, what do Chef want this time? Oh, he wants the same thing. Yes! Chef! My boy! We got him, lads. We have unlocked the chef. Can we get some chef hype in the chat? I will most certainly be playing chef on the run after this. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even realize I picked up a steak. Oh, multi-shop. Right, right, right. Um, crowbar is good for blue beans, so I'll take that. Just out of reach. Eh, come on. Whoa, little Halcyon I dude is there. Okay, so when you're not elite, you kind of melt. Oh, we got a loop. Man, it's such a shame. There was a whole, like... Ah, there was a charged perforator printer here last time, and now it's not here anymore. Kind of sad about that. I wonder if they're going to deprecate Chef Mod or keep updating it now that we have Chef Chef. They might keep it, because they did do this chef a little differently. But, uh... It's not quite as novel now that we do have a real chef. Right, I'm seeing chests there, there, there. This is kind of a weird stage to loot. It's a little dark. Don't know if it's just me. It's an interesting area here, man. This is... Ooh, is there a thing in there, or is that just decoration? Okay, it's just decoration. Yeah, the... This whole big old thing here is, like, a real interesting structure. Let's see, that looks like a... Uh, 
Okay, guillotine for now. Interesting that the ingredients stay between runs, so I guess he always wants slug infusion steak. So I guess unless you're particularly unlucky, it shouldn't take you that long to get chef. You can always just use command and get it guaranteed on like a first run, which is cool. Which is cool, I dig that. Reborn colonies is where I got messed up last time real bad. I hate Dune Striders, man. They're just such an awful boss. No, don't heal him. No, no. What? No, let me shoot you. Ah, I healed so much. He doesn't care about me. And now he starts caring about me. How uh, much are you equipment? Ooh, we could have backup on the drone. That's cool. We'll do that probably. Money barrel. Okay, so that's a pit. I really enjoy the motifs on this uh, new soundtrack. And how it, like, carries through stage by stage, kind of progressing. This is probably an equipment I want to keep. I could see myself using Creon. Uh, I'm going to get the drone before I do TP. Ooh, Mocha printer? I don't want to lose Slug. Let's see, there's Scrapper nearby. Off keyboard. I wonder who worked on this one. I mean, obviously, I know Chris kind of oversaw most, if not the whole thing, but he's been getting some other uh, musicians to work with him on Risk of Rain projects, which has been pretty cool. They've all done a really good job, I think. Oh no! Out! Okay. This is where I spawned last time. Dude, more equipment, man. What the heck? Recycler, though. That is huge. Okay, so once you see the teleporter, like, get close enough. That's cool. That's a really cool feature. Do I have... What do I have that activates on low health? Is it... Oh, loop. Oh, I'm still corrupted. That's not good. I thought it was back to normal already. man, leave my friends alone. That delayed, like, damage application from the strange coin, or excuse me, not the strange coin, the warped echo. It looks like a strange coin from Destiny. I might have to go into the logbook later and, like, read if that's actually what it's supposed to be. Dude, it gave me nothing but equipment here, man. That was, like, not... not great for me. 
Uh, what do we want? Antlers watch. Oh wait, no, this is something I haven't gotten. On hit, enemies are knocked into the air. I'm assuming that's when I get hit then, because it wasn't knocking them. On the health explode and teleport away. Oh, I wonder... That might synergize well with the loot. God, Clay Dune Strider again, man. Dude, I really hate Clay Dune Strider. Whoa! Gold jellyfish. At least this time I've got, like, loot, so I might be able to just nuke them with that. Not to mention Void Fiend, I think, just does more damage, period. Ow. Let me go. I'm loving this teleporter team. Risk big, win big. Darn. Started eating everything a little early. Oh, he's gaining so much health. It's not even worth it to try to fight it as normal fiend. Dude, he gained like three quarters of health back from that. That's ridiculous. Surely it's got to be on cooldown, though, since it's not Eclipse. Let's see. Fuel cell? Sure. Extra for sickles. Alright, having Recycler and some more of this stuff, I think I'm better kitted out. Whoa! Primary- wait, what? Is this it? Is this last stage? Crack the geode. What did I do? Do I stand in this? Oh my god, bro. Is that what cracking the geode did? It popped a glowing meteor? Or is that just part of the stage? Oh my gosh, dude. Where am I? I have no clue where I am. Eh. No. No, bro. Oh, it's putting me in such an awkward spot. I don't know if Cracking the Geo did this or what, but I'm sorry. Didn't quite get low enough for it to... Oh my gosh, the enemies here, man. They're insane. I don't know if you're meant to come here after stage one. Ah... Please, crack the geode. I don't know what that does. It's all red now. What is happening? I'm genuinely so lost. I'm just... going anywhere I see a geode and cracking that bad boy open. Just trying to kill stuff here it feels kind of impossible. Oh, I'm slow. Please. Ah it's so scary here. I've never been before. Alright, upward climb. I, I don't know what this does. Like, am I safe in the circle? Or, is that what's giving me this overshield, is the geode? 
Yeah, let's pop it. Uh, okay, the geode is giving me overshield. I'm guessing this is the storm, this like endless glowing meteorite thing. Uh, the storm of Seekers of the Storm, quote unquote. Alright, well, it doesn't seem like uh, there's anything much in here. What is this? Oh, unknown. Uh, I don't know if I want to risk big win big. Oops. I uh, didn't know something could give me one. Alright. Uh, do I ring this bell? Or is this just environmental stuff? I guess that's just environment. I feel like I don't have enough items to deal with a, quote, stage four. But it could also be that this is a scaled down area since I entered it, like, right off the bat. Uh, I don't know. I don't feel particularly lucky currently. Okay. Okay. False sun, I have the storm. Whoa, okay. Crack the geode. Ow, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, you're so scary and big. And scary. Oh, my good gravy. Alright, he gains total invincibility when he dashes. Okay! This is such a cheesy character to be doing this fight on, I feel like. Ow! Ow! Alright! You do not mess with the false sun. Good gravy. Halcyon Seed. Is Halcyon Seed the gold portal thing? Unstable transmitter. Let's see. Okay, new chef. Oh, I don't like that sound. Oh, no. I don't love the sounds of, like, silverware and stuff uh, clanging together. All right, kills with two or more skills, cooks them, and drops a healing item. No, don't do that. Ah, that, ah. I'm so sorry. Cleave, steer, and then if you roll... I'll stop that. Oh, <laughs> I hate that sound. Okay, so if, yeah, you want to oil the enemies up, and then fire them, and then please stop. I beg you. Oiled bison with seer. That's funny. All right, let us play chef. Man, that false sun is terrifying. Oh, you have to... Oh. Oh. You have to kind of... Oh, that's so weird. Oh, this is such a weird... So basically, the way this, like, primary skill works... Oh. The way this primary skill works is really interesting. So it has three charges. Y 
you have to uh, throw it and also recall it. So, like, if I throw this, it wants you to click again to recall it. And there's a delay on how fast you can throw them out, that being your skill charges. But you have to manually click every time. You can't hold click. That's weird. Yeah. Uh, very weird. But I guess, like, if you wanted to... I guess the goal is uh, to encourage you to use more than just the knife, spamming it. My god! I guess you're not supposed to dump all of the oil on one beetle. Not to mention, like, when you throw the knives out, you know, they're suspended in the air where they were, so depending on what angle you're at relative to your enemies when it returns to you, it may or may not actually go through that same enemy again, so you have to be kind of aware of your positioning. Dude, that false sun was terrifying. Like, he was out for blood. I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. will be the world's first to beat an Eclipse 8 False Sun. Now that, that is an interesting uh, prospect right there. Dude, it felt like I couldn't get away from him. Even his Void Fiend. Granted, I just might not understand the attacks yet. What is this thing? No idea what it does. Deal extra damage at lower health. Ah, no, inverse crowbar. Pretty cool. Oh my gosh, do I need to turn this down? I swear I turned this, like, way down. Turn that down some. I feel like music volume is balanced a little differently than... than sound audio. This thing is pretty good, I think, right? I don't know. If I make it to False Sun as Chef and I'm getting my butt whipped again, I will probably go Mercenary and, like, actually seriously attempt to, like, do a run to beat him. Not that I haven't been trying, of course, but... So I haven't seen the little, uh, structure that lets you summon the green portal on this stage, so... I wonder if it's not necessarily guaranteed that you get it to show up. But man, that is a scary boss fight. Dude, that ability does so much damage. Like, it seriously feels like it does so much. Right, does this cancel fall damage? No, no, it does not. Uh, where was Teleporter? I'm assuming it was over here. Uh, oh, an unopened chest. What's in the crate? 
Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Yep, okay. So the, the the thing didn't spawn on this stage. I guess we'll have to wait until potentially next stage or whenever it shows up to try the whole seeking the storm again. Seriously, it feels so loud. I don't know what they did with this update. Hang on. Let me turn this down. Turn that down. Hopefully that's a little better. Oh, you are so dead, bro. It leveled up! I would have killed it. The knife is definitely good, but it doesn't feel like you can spam only the knife and have Chef be good, like in Risk of Rain 1. Like, it feels like you actually do kind of have to use your other abilities, which is nice. Because Chef would be boring if you could just spam the knives and it'd be, like, completely broken. Although, honestly, I think if you were a fan of the way Chef played in the mod, maybe that would disappoint you. But I don't mind the way this Chef feels after having played this a few minutes and kind of gotten used to the way the knives handle. I think that's kind of the biggest hurdle to get over is the knives do feel very awkward when you first play Chef. But what's cool about them is, I, I yeah, I, I believe it pierces through enemies, so. Yep, so you're able to, uh, I think, crowd control pretty easily with Chef. All of his abilities seem like they do good AoE. Dude, that oil ability, it just like goes pow, pow, pow. Yeah, dude, like what is that? That's insane. Holy smokes, bro. isn't too fast. Sounds any enemy said. I don't like how when you open your inventory now you can't jump anymore. Or sprint. That's a little... I don't like that. I don't know if that's a setting that I need to change or if it's just kind of permanent, but I don't love that. Oh, the fire doesn't have enough range to deal with you. How about this? Gosh, another one of you guys. Ah, uh, finally, anti-rat move. It's great, I hate those guys. No, no! Uh, oh my gosh. Actually, hang on. Can I... Jeez, bro. That oil does so much damage. Honestly, if nothing else, I appreciate that, like, the oil is an actual move now and not just you spreading oil everywhere. Because as, like, funny as that was, it, it feels kind of like a non-move. Chance to trigger active enemy debuffs. What? Wait, what? When taking damage, chance to trigger active enemy debuffs. Oh, so when I get hit, it... Whoa, what? Wait, 
What? No shot. Dude, you just straight up bleed everything in the next post area code. Oh my gosh. Anytime you take a hit, that's nuts. Um, I feel slow, so I will get that. That delayed damage item is really interesting, though. That's the Frenzy Backpack. Get that. Um, probably worth gambling. Uh, I forget what that thing is that I just lost, so I guess I'll consider gas an upgrade. Holy smokes, man. This rat was getting healed so fast. Do I want to watch, or do I want this... This thing. Knock the enemies into the air. I don't know. I don't know how that benefits me. Maybe I'll get repulsion and just have a little something for dots. Oh, the flame knocks enemies back. Ah, that's pretty great. I don't have a whole lot of money. Uh, I want to look over here and see if I can find that shard thing. Otherwise, I'll just do teleport. I feel like the Void Feed run, it like started really good, but just kind of fell off at the end. Dude, you got two stages and then you are on to the false sign and you have what you have. And if it's not good enough, he will shred you, man. Like he is not out to play. But because he's a melee boss, that's why I'm thinking if I lose again, I will be mercenary next time. And I can just, uh... I can just play mercenary and abuse the iframes and, uh... Probably be able to kill him without too much trouble. Well, I assume, obviously, he has... Three phases, I think. So I don't know. Uh what uh could happen in those other two phases. Flying chef. Oh no, the fire doesn't reach that far. Ow. Chef does not have a whole lot of health. Ow! Oh man, what the heck, man? Oh my gosh. I don't really have good healing besides slug. Please. Do I have monster teeth or anything? I do have two monster teeth. And a banner. Oh, that's right. Chef's supposed to heal by cooking things. Alright, let me fly again. That was actually pretty nice. Oh, shoot. No! I hate pests. No, and it was a uke. Oh my gosh. Okay, hang on. All right, for the sake of me trying to actually beat this false sun, dude, let's play some mercenary. Oh, that's right. He's got a cool skin. Totally forgot they added that. Sure, we'll play the Dead Cells mercenary.
If I go to the bazaar at all, I won't do... I won't do Jester, or Tonic, or anything like that. I'll just get... i get what I get. Ah, man. It's a shame I don't have my Mercenary Inferno skin. Or wait. Did Mercenary have an Inferno skin? That's right, it was the Headless dude. I remember now. That was fun. Inferno is fun. The idea of making Infernal Eclipse, however, that was awful. Did not enjoy that. You know, at some point, there's just too much uh, modifier stacking. And I think that's what Infernal Eclipse was for me. Where have I not been? Mercenary is just too dang cool. So I guess I just got really lucky that the Path of the Colossus appeared on both of the First two stages. Or is it called a path of the is it called that? I don't remember why I heard that name. Yay, two keys. Great. a decent amount of items on this stage for once. Ooh, I wonder if I can push this guy. I've never been consistent at this. Feels like there's so many characters now.
Alas, I found no scrap room. Actually, I do want to see the new Lunar. This... Yeah, that's it. Free purchases on level up. Wait. Gold converts to experience. How does that work? Wait, what? Free purchases on level up. So you level up more quickly. And I guess, I assume temporarily you get free purchases. It says that one costs six. This is wetland aspect. You dream of a refuge. Okay. Oh, snap. No, let me up. No. Let me up. I want to get out. Is this? Oh, okay. So you can dream your way here as well as take the green portal. Excuse me, I appreciate that. Oh, real quick, let me Google the Halcyons. Excuse me, Halcyon Seed. Also, one second, I gotta check on a slightly separate thing. really a night yeah okay so that is what it is so i'm assuming there's like two ways of doing this false sun thing one is without the halcyon seed and one is with it so if you ow oh my hand ow that did not feel good so i guess if you have the halcyon seed when you beat the false sun you unlock it and then uh when you don't have it, I have no idea what happens. Unless the game just always gives you one, but I doubt that's the case. But I'm more focused on just, I want to kill this boss one time. Oh, right. Free purchases. Uh, uh, um. Try tips. Oh, no. You get one free purchase on level up? Well, how often am I going to level up, then? Alright, I guess I have to be extremely mindful of what I am getting, then. Also, I'm not seeing any chest here. Did it, like, spend it all on printers? I think all the credits got spent on printers and other things. Whatever, free gunner drone, I guess. something one of my friends was asking me about a uh, uh you know some, some stuff it's 
so I needed to make sure that was all sorted out. Very important business. Oh my gosh. I, I like these uh, new stages, but they do feel very uh, small. And I hate to say that they're small. All Risk of Rain stages are small. They are the size of typical Risk of Rain stages. I'll, I'll say that. But uh, at least on this little progression path, they don't feel too big to me. Where's the guy who's healing? Can we get rid of him, please? Whoa, what? Chance to increase item rarity at shrines. What? That's awesome. That's amazing. So I, I, I'm curious what happens when you go to the little chef area, but you've already got chef. Oh, I haven't been over here, actually. We can explore here on the way. Ah, here's my credits. I wonder if this works on... No. Fungus. And... Yeah, I'm curious what happens if you already have Chef and you try doing the little thing. thing. Man, playing mercenary feels right at home. Surely I beat this boss now. Okay. Ooh, my turn. Maybe that's good. Sure. I mean, I'm a mercenary, so why not? It's just abandoned now? Man. It's like a thing you do one time for the novelty and then never again. Just don't do that, bro. You scared the crap out of me. And you get... I mean, surely it's at an increased rate that your gold turns to experience, right? Right? Because otherwise it's not worth it to take that item. No, leave him alone. Oh no. Brooch. I'm so bad at adaptive chests. Like, I, I'm not even gonna try to hide it. I am really bad at adaptive chests. What is that thing that keeps popping? It's not that. The only other new item I have is the little doll. I don't know what keeps popping. No, absolutely not. Um, do I want antlers or crit? Oh, well, it doesn't matter because I can't buy it. What a weird lunar. I wish I could open the logbook, but I really can't because it blasts my ears out. Egg, egg, or saw. Only one option here. Ooh. I'll take that. Maybe I could scrap that stake too, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh, 
regen strap. Handy. We got now. We get three of those weeping funguses. We will be good to go. Dude, I wish I knew what that popping was. It's like... I guess the downside is that you just get limited purchases a stage. But, like, you don't have to... I'm trying to figure out what is the upside of this lunar here. I guess it makes you immune to things that would normally sap your gold. What happens if you have this lunar and you try to activate the little pillar thingy mabob that I was doing earlier that like is supposed to normally take your gold? Does it take your like experience or your purchase credits? Hoof or reflect. Uh, I don't know. I'll take crit, honestly. You can never go wrong. If I get more of this lunar, I'm gonna stack it. Okay, well, that's just great. Is there a big chest anywhere? Not really. Yeah, this stage just feels kind of small to me. I'm gonna be real. What is that popping? Gold converts to experience. Chance to, I don't know. It's bizarre. I wonder if you hit the teleporter, like, does it take you back to normal stages and then were you to hit another green portal, would it then take you here to Prime Meridian? Like, is that the deal with it? I'm just not really fully understanding... I'm definitely going to have to experiment at some point. I'm just a little nervous to do that now. This is still reading as stage 4, even though... Wasn't I on? No, I went to the... No, where did I go in this run? I went from... I went from Roost to... Was it? Uh, did I go to the bazaar? What is that debuff? I don't understand what it is. Is it raining here? It sounds like it's <laughs> raining, but I can't actually see any rain, so I'm not really sure. Okay. I'm gonna do my best on this boss fight. Whoa, okay. Dude, this whole intro is terrifying. What's making me so slow? Okay. What the? Whoa, where is he? This guy's a better eye of the storm than the final boss of, uh... A ship of fools, man. Ow. 
Ow, ow. Oh, he's so slow. He's like way slower than I am like expecting him to be. There's something to give you. Oh my god, he's got an eye laser. Oh, he is eye lasering me. Dude, if he's doing that to you, he is locked in. Unless you can use like the pillars around the arena as like a line of sight it. That might be the intent. I'm just kind of aping. That's probably the intent. They, they definitely want you to hide behind the lasers. Oh, it's the solo from the soundtrack. What is he doing? I have no skills! I have no skills! No, 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 no. Oh, I'm supposed to hit the geode. I'm supposed to hit the geode. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Dude. I apologize for peeking my mic. That was genuinely the most terrifying thing I think that has ever happened to me in this game. He's so scary. He is so scary. Oh my god, I have no skills again. No, what? How do you deal with that? I don't know. Oh my god. Dude. Dude, how? How do you do that? How do you do that? Hang on. This skill, or that skin is messing with me. I need to go back to this. How do you deal with that? Just let me check something again. Real quick. Sorry. That boss fight is really... It, I, it, it, it play, he plays so differently from the other two, like, big bosses. Him taking away your skills is so... I don't think I had equipment. But that looked like it was disabled too, unless I'm misremembering. Dude, how do you deal with that? What do you do? Do you just hope? I'm also just going to say that Lunar was weird and I don't know if I like that. Because I don't know what it's trying to sell me. Like, is it going to give me, like, experience at an increased rate? Because... I haven't really been playing this game recently, so I, 
I couldn't really tell if I was leveling up faster. My assumption is that you would be leveling up faster, and that would be the selling point, is that you level up faster, but you get limited purchases, but the purchases are free, and all... That's, that's my... That's like my in-my-head theory explanation as to what is the goal of that item. Apart from that, I have no clue what it is it's trying to really sell. Dude, I want to beat that boss so bad. I mean, it just straight up took away all my skills. And then lasered me to death with the eyeball. Like, wh I don't even know how to approach that. Like, do you just have to camp a pillar the whole entire fight? And then whenever that happens, you just ring around the rosy him until your skills are back? Is that how you have to do this? I, I can truly think of no other way. Where are Sage and Jake? I need them to see like how wacky this final boss is. I swear, I feel like I'm getting blasted, dude. I'm really trying to balance this audio here, but it is quite a task. I know I'm only making like little baby increments, but I do enjoy like the sound of this game. I don't want to turn it down, like, necessarily too much.
I just realized my mic has been muted the whole time and I've just been talking to nothing. For like the past few minutes, I never unmuted. Yeah, I've just been giving my thoughts on that boss to like an empty nothingness of ether. That's cool. <laughs> oh man, this stuff that just got sprayed in my room is, it is so strong. Excuse me. Sorry about that. No, defend the turret. Oh, well, I guess you guys didn't miss anything while I was muted. I was just gushing about how interesting that boss fight was. It's definitely, like, slower than the other two bosses. I'll have to fight him more times, I think, before I can really fully say much about him. To me, he just feels like a differently structured Mithrix at the moment. But, like, his attacks are so unfamiliar to me at this point that I, uh, I'm not really doing a great job dodging any of them. Mercenary is hard carrying me. I think, like, it also does help, probably, that, like, I'm going to him, like, on stage four. So that's probably a significant reason as to why he feels so powerful is because probably you're not supposed to fight him on stage four a little early. But I appreciate the challenge and, uh... You know, I'll, I'll take it. I'll fight him on stage four. I'll keep doing it and you know, as much times as I'm able to until I'm able to uh, see it through to a kill. Oh, right, I've got Soulbound Catalyst. Honestly, something like that and Disposable Missile Launcher, that might be clutch for this fight. I don't remember what my equipment was last time, if I even had one, but... I'm sure this is infinitely better. I mean, I love Disposable Missile Launcher. Who doesn't? It is just so good in this game. I'm looking forward to getting back to Explicator, though. I missed that boss. Like, truly, even though, like, I'm not winning, it, it's just feeling really good to have reached this level of execution on that boss to get where I am now. Like, it's very, very fun to me to uh, do runs of that boss. Just wish I had more raid banners, man. I'm like running so dry. Uh, let's see. I don't want to attack speed on mercenary if I can help it. A little bit is okay. Not my first choice. This like ambient section at the end of this track after the stage is done is interesting to me. Oh boy, an ignition tank for my gasoline. You know, that gasoline that I have. 
Well, you don't see it. Yeah, it's because I don't have any. What is the turret shooting at? I should have gone and checked it out. Have I been streaming for two hours already? Oh my god, the time has flown. It does not feel like it's been two hours, even remotely. It feels like it's been 30 minutes. Ooh, crit printer. Ooh. I don't know if there's anything I want to give up for crit, but... Good thought. Tip printer is interesting. I don't know if I want to give my equipment away because I've got soul bound. Gosh, I don't know if I want those. Maybe I'll find something I'm able to trade some greens in at the final stage. Oh my gosh! Like a gorse tome. I don't need that. Offered a shrine of shaping 30% soul. What? Reduces all health by 30%, but revives all dead survivors. And gives an extra life? What? Does that persist through stages? No, I gotta do that. That's nuts. An extra life, honestly, might be the thing that I need to get me through the final fight. I have no healing items, though. I need, like, slug or something. Anything that'll heal me. First chest bought yields more than one... Whoa, that's what that does. That's pretty cool. It kind of sucks, though, because you don't really get... Uh... I don't really get benefit from that here. Alright, what are you... Death mark. Oh, darn. That's not very helpful. Alright, was there like a scrapper somewhere? Um, oh, I see. So I'm assuming that's permanent? Oh, my one shot protection is gone. That is spooky. I wonder if I make it off of this stage, do I keep the one-shot protection? Oh, uh, let me... Ooh, another chest. Ah, very cool. If I see a scrapper, I'll probably convert it into a tri-tip or a crit or something. Good. Dude, there's so many healers. Stop, 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 stop. Dude, I'm healing so slow. I have no slug. I've got no monster tooth. I've got nothing. Where's this boss? Like, my damage, I think, is good, but I just got nothing to, like, really heal or defend myself with. I'm kind of <laughs> relying purely on mercenaries, uh... 
iframes and stuff. Which, nothing wrong with that, but... So I gotta be really aware. At, like, basically all times. <laughs> My gosh, dude. This stuff is killing me. <clears throat> Man. I apologize, you guys. I don't know what that stuff is. It's messing with me. Ooh, scrapper. Right. Okay, what did I say I was getting rid of? Getting rid of that. That's not going to help me. And there's something else. Well, I think I very much don't need that, and I definitely don't need... To, what was I hovering over? Ignition tank? Because I don't have gasoline. I'm going to the Prime Meridian next. So maybe if there's like a decent red... Is it five greens or three greens? It's five. Kind of sucks. And then... What do I else not need? Uh, I think I can... Oh, I don't need gores. So, I mean, four green scraps. That's not bad. Oh, also, I'm not really getting anything out of Deathmark right now. Okay. So, I think I'm in a decent place. I don't think there's any other white items I need to get rid of. So, what did I want? Ice crit. Well, no, I should probably get bleed. Yeah, I should probably get bleed. That's the sensible thing to do here. It's a shame there's no equipment chest here that I could feed the drone. <coughs> oh man, so sorry. This is such a cool looking stage, dude. I really love the like verticality here. Oh, there, there's the, the chest here. That's cool. I don't think there would be a chest here. What is the deal with that down attack thing? Am I just weakened now? Because I hit a. Thing? Is that what that is? Is it like a stat decrease? Do I get rid of those by standing in this? Yes. Okay. So I've figured out what that is. Oh my gosh. I took another one, man. As soon as I was rid of it. I've got five of them, bro. I'm so cooked. Six, man. I need to be way more careful, clearly. Oh, where was that big chest? Get rid of my stacks. Oh, thank you so, so much. Please be healing. You can shipping request. That is not my ideal combination. Soulbound for five greens. What is this? Spare drone parts. Gotta take spare drone parts. And then slug for a red. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth losing either of my reds for that, but to tell you the truth, I mean, I have no healing. Hmm. I'll lose the spare drone parts. I think those slugs are just too important to not have in this scenario. Kinda sucks. I would have liked to have kept that. But I think it'll be a worthwhile trade. If I can play my cards right.
Oh my gosh. <laughs> the floating above him is oh. Okay. Dude, this is hard. This is insanely hard. Jeez, what could I even do? Loader? <laughs> I hate to use a loader to do that. That seems kind of lame. I don't, I don't really enjoy playing loader, to tell you the truth. Mm, I'll see on seed. I don't know who to play. <laughs> How do I beat this? This is so hard. Like, he is attacking more often than I'm getting my mercenary cooldowns. Maybe I use Seeker. I don't know. Uh, my other thought actually was a Rail Gunner. I might be able to take advantage of a Rail Gunner. Um, for long range and just kind of snipe him to death. I don't know. Maybe Cryo Charge works. I doubt it. Very seriously. I feel like since Cryo Charge worked on Mythrix, they probably realized, now well, that's not a great thing to have on a boss. Wait, what the? Am I on default? I am. Hello. I suck. Yeah, I have not played default scope real gunner in a long time. Tell you the truth, it's probably been about two years. Wait. I just realized I didn't actually uh, use an extra life on Mercenary when I died to Fall Sun, so I guess it only lasts for that stage. Yeah, that uh, uh that's kind of unfortunate. Porch. 
crud. I forgot about that. Whoa, that was delayed. No, he's got the false sun eye laser. Oh, shoot. I suck. Thing with default scope rail gunners. Weird to me. Good, another ignition tank for my gasoline. That I definitely have. Yo, actually, wait. Hold on, I might be onto something. What if I use Artificer? And just Ion Surge above him. I feel like any number of these ideas could potentially work. This is a considerable amount of items for how long this stage took. Man, that final boss has killed me three times in a row. I'm gonna beat him though. I don't know if I'm gonna actually be able to Blah, 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 blah. I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat him this stream, tell you the truth. He's kind of kicking my butt. They buff steak by making it a, uh, a requirement to unlock chef. I wonder if one person gives chef the recipe and multiplayer does everybody unlock it? Or is it, uh, instanced? I'm not sure when's exactly an appropriate time to take on the false sun if you want to do it at like stage five maybe doing it right off the bat it is really really hard excuse me like truly if you want a challenge that's what you do obviously i'm sure someone's gonna beat him no items potentially on railgunner honestly because railgunner is a really cracked character But if you like really want to challenge doing it like right at right at the beginning, like off of stage one, that's how you do it, man. That boss is not to be messed with. This damage delay item is interesting. I feel like my medkit gets to go off before the delay 
like during the delay period. So I'm able to medkit heal twice, which is actually really cool. Like that's a genuine, it's great. Let's go gambling. Oh, ignition. Perfect, it actually has a use now. actually kind of missed default scope railgunner. I didn't realize I missed it till now, but I like the little mini game that you play and uh... the um I messed that up. The oh, what's it? It, it reminds me of playing Sniper Risk of Rain One, which, of course, is the attempt. What is it with this game giving me shipping requests? Does it want me to run the Lemurian artifact or something? Yo, honestly, I should do that. I should run the Lemurian thing. You know, thinking about it, Risk of Rain bosses are really hard. Like, final bosses, they're kind of hard. You might get used to some of them after a while. Like, Providence, I'm very, very used to. Um, even in Returns, I feel pretty comfortable fighting Providence. But, like, they're always very... They always remain very threatening. Which I can appreciate. Granted, up to a certain... Point. Like, if you're really, you know, if you're crazy stacked on items, they do all topple. Even even Mithrix, even though he has the item steal mechanic. It's, it's interesting. Okay, what is this? This is the tree part of Path of the Colossus. Interesting. I guess we're going to do that again. I'm going to use... Um... Ow. Do I have a crowbar or something? Or oh, that scope is just that good. One shot of it. A oh, weeping fungus. Nice. I'm gonna use this run as an opportunity to test my theory of what activating the teleporter does on some of these seekers of the storm stages. Phew. It's just that good. Yo, stream funny story. Uh, while we were on like 
vacation for a couple of days, like my family. My brother at the arcade, he won deal or no deal. Like, won. He got the highest prize. Which, I, I don't know about you, I've never seen anybody ever win deal or no deal. And the way it happened was funny, too. He, like, picked his case, like, right off the rip, right? You know, the way they have you do at the beginning. And he stuck with it the whole game and just kept getting, like, really good pulls on the cases for the most part up until, like, the very, very end. It was between, like, five tickets or 400, which is the highest amount that you could get. And he gambled... real hard he took the 400 and it paid off because he won and you know coin flips are kind of scary man but uh i respect him for sticking to principle and being willing to potentially lose all that walk away with five like, that's a hard gamble to make Oh, actually, I should have gotten medkit again. Oh my gosh, bro. I really tried to slow down my fall, but... Okay... I'm gonna take Sprint Drink. Because this boss... <laughs> I said he moved slow at first, but... Uh, he's actually gotten quite faster... It feels like. Or maybe I just had better movement items on that first mercenary run when I was at that boss. I don't know. I wonder if there's going to be a post-boss fight to this boss, like Mythrix, or if it's just going to end... It's insane to me that you can get to this boss so fast. Like, I'm here at 15 minutes in, into a fresh run. I do not want anything to do with you guys, respectfully. Alright, we are safe. Um, opal? Ooh. Actually, what red item do I even have? Oh, well, none. Yeah, I don't know what greens I could afford to give up. Mm, nah, I don't want to do that. I'll be okay, I think, with what I have. I doubt taking any of those is gonna drastically change my experience. Alright, moment of truth, can you freeze false sun? Nope. 
I kind of doubted it, to tell you the truth. No way he went in the air after me. Oh my god, dude, I am so dead. I have no movement. I have no healing to counter anything that he's doing. Oh, his crit spot is the chest. That's great. Alright, so when he decides it's time to attack, he's gonna, like, go nuts. Such effort for what? A new skin, I guess. Oh, shoot. Yeah, no, when he goes on the offensive, he, like, goes crazy. But he does seem to, like, kind of chill out sometimes. Which I guess is supposed to be when you want to be uh, attacking. Oh my gosh. Ah, shoot. Just trying to dodge. Wish I had slug, man. Oh, this boss is so terrifying running at you like that. Oh, no, 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 that's I beam. Okay. No, dude. Oh, that was such bad timing being in the air like that. Okay. Ugh. I'm hesitant to try Artificer now because Artificer has no horizontal mobility tools whatsoever. Hmm. I bet Acrid would be really good at this. Whoa! Oh, cool! This sucks. There's like, what, five stages that stage one can be now? Okay. And variety is good. It's just, it's a little unfortunate that, uh, there's five, so I'm not quite as likely to see either of the newer ones. I haven't played enough for Verdant Falls to have worn off on me yet. Dude, these little, like, temple structures in these Seekers maps are really cool to me. Like, the aesthetic of this expansion is... It's really cool. I honestly kind of... I don't know if I like it more than Void. Void is interesting. I think the... Uh, I'll reserve judgment. There's definitely a lot more room to be surprised with this stuff than with the Void stuff. The Void stuff is all very samey. Dude, I wasn't expecting the guitar solo part to be the phase three of that boss. Or not the guitar solo, sorry, the synth solo. I do know my risk of rain music. Dude, that was such a crazy feeling fighting that boss. And listening to Chris pop off on the keyboard. I doubt Chris is listening, but if, if he's listening, thank you for that. Like that, that is really cool feeling.
Oh, snap. Oh my god, it's a child. No, no. What is that? I didn't like that. Man, what was that mod that added the third chitin of poison for Acrid? That was a cool mod. Or that that was an interesting skill to me. It seemed like it would be a lot of fun in multiplayer. This kind of sucks. What happens if I run out of money? Does it stop building? It does. That's tough. Runs out of money, it just stops building it, and you gotta wait. I like the sound it makes. Is that a cool sound? Are you guys hearing that? I hope Jake appreciates that I'm playing dog. I doubt he's watching, but... Ooh, poly loot. That could be huge. Alright, game. You gotta spawn me something else here. Oh, I don't want to leave you half finished. Oh, you get the portal anyway? You just get fewer blessings. Okay. I'll take that. Man, I would have liked to have gotten more blessings, but I just didn't have any money. I spent it all on items, you know, things that actually help me. Oh, I should have gone and checked that out. Shurikens or Harvester? I mean, it's Harvester on Acrid, which I'm not gonna hit him that much. I'll, I'll keep Shurikens. Sail star. Very cool. Let me go to the teleporter and uh, maybe we'll find a big chest somewhere. We'll get double off of that. I miss war banners having healing like in Risk of Rain 1. Oh, he's so bad, dude. Probably does not play. Forgetting what this thing does. Oh, that's 
That's not helpful at all. Uh, we want leader to collapse. I guess if I'm not... If I'm trying to play range, collapse is probably better than bleed in my case. Yeah, I think collapse is going to be better for me. If the goal is for me to just run away from him the whole time and just slowly poison him to death. As Acrid does. Oh wait, I said I was going to wait for a big chest to spend it on. I forgot I had that. Oops. Well, that sucks. No. No. Hmm. Maybe I should have traded something for a lantern. Uh, I don't know. This kind of sucks. I got no range. Hmm, maybe I'll get visions. No. Hmm. Now, Prion, that could be helpful. God, I've melted him so fast. But I'm not gonna be able to do that to False Sun. He like actually hits really hard because he's melee. Yeah, I'm gonna use Prion. We're gonna try to make this as ranged of a fight as I can because he's just too deadly up close for anyone besides a mercenary and even mercenary. I suppose if I was, like, really used to his attack style, I don't think it would be really that big of a problem, but because I'm not really used to it, I'm still, like, trying to get a good read on him. Oh, Collapse is great, because I can poison enemies and it'll take care of that last hit. Wasn't really thinking about that. I'm not sure Bleed could do the same thing, but Collapse is one big hit. I forgot. anything else I can do on the state. I should have farmed. I don't know why I hit that teleporter so fast. I guess I'm trying to speed run False Sun. World's fastest False Sun kill. I mean, it hasn't even been 24 hours yet. <laughs> Day one False Sun. <laughs> that actually... I mean, honestly, that wouldn't even be, like, unimpressive, to tell you the truth, with how difficult of a fight it, uh, it's been thus far.
curious if there's another way to get up here that I'm not aware of. It doesn't really look like it to me. Like, all of that business over there seems like, um, just skybox. But I could be wrong about that. Let's see. I don't think there's anything too game-changing here. It's been Wake of Vultures every time, man. Sprint juice. Oh, I'm so slow. Even with two sprint juice. Oh, it's because of my debuff. That's right. Is Akron too fat to get on the lift from that side? That's funny. <laughs> All right. Let's just try like five or something. I just cannot get away from him. He doesn't want to be fled from. He does not... Ow. How did he kill me there? I didn't even see. Did like a laser column get me? Alright, well... I don't even know if that... I don't even know if I could say that almost worked. Hmm... May this is genius. This will work. Commando would be any good. I think the acrid thing would have worked if I had maybe more mobility. Not having mobility, I think, kind of ruined my chances. Because he just... Contrary to what I said, he moves extremely fast. Like, he is he was on my butt that entire fight. Oh my gosh, that teleporter is so obvious now. That's not even that bad of a... Uh... ...to have as a feature, though. Like... <laughs> There's no reason finding the teleporter needs to be insanely difficult. 
I don't think that is what really defines this game for me, is the difficulty in finding the teleporter. Although, to be fair, part of the learning curve is learning the maps, so maybe there's something to be said for that. Um, yes, please. I forget when I streamed Risk of Rain Returns had I beaten the final boss by this point. I don't believe I beat it on stream. I think I beat it later that night. How fast can you shoot Bandit's shotgun? I'm sorry, I, I really want to try this for some reason. How fast does it shoot? Oh my god. Yeah, no, it just shoots as fast as you can click. So if you auto-click, it, uh... Just... Oh snap, you can view your inventory while you're paused. Yo! I didn't realize that. That's actually really helpful. Although it would be nice if you could, if you could, excuse me, get more numbers on these items in game. Still though, the quality of life little touch-ups are nice. It's been a while since I've wanted to play Risk of Rain 2 this much. It's kind of uh, exciting to have like a big reason to play this again with this final boss. I wonder if Rex will be any good with the healing. Like maybe he's able to out heal false sun. It seems unlikely because his mobility I feel like would get to him pretty badly. But I mean you never know. 
my gosh. Oh, one shot glasses. That's cool. Oh man, I'm starting to get a little tired though. It's getting a bit late. I don't usually stream this late. It's just such a special occasion. How could I miss it? Ugh, my knuckles. Let's get a teddy bear. I'll tell you one thing that would help me teddy bear stacking, man. Surely false sun can't. Oh my god. I wish I could see that again. You too can see all these moments again at Shiny Stream Library. YouTube channel. Go give that a follow. Yeah, no. I really try not to ask people to follow my stuff. Like, I, I want my stuff to be good enough that by its own virtue, people will want to follow it. But it may be a thing that I have to kind of start inserting into, like, things that I upload. Because otherwise, like, some people just get so engrossed, they might not see it, and then they might not think about it. Which I, I hate to do it that way. But it's just kind of the truth of the YouTube game. Alright, let me get behind you. It is so hard to get behind him. Will I get ignition tank like every other game? I hope so. A good equipment would be nice. I feel like I did a lot of damage with Prion. It just sucked that like I could not stay away from that boss. Like I was constantly running and just he always caught up. I mean, Mithrix has a tendency to do that, but I feel like Mithrix... Yeah, I don't know. It, I'll, I'll, I'll credit this to it being like a new boss, and I'm just like not really familiar with his attacks. And that's why I'm kind of... struggling to fully understand its uh, moveset and all. Rusty key. There's probably one on the last stage, huh? Ooh, plasma shrimp. Yeah, I think it's gotta be plasma shrimp. Plasma shrimp is still so loud. It's so loud, man.
Yeah, that may bolster my damage quite significantly. Probably it also will help that I'm not going to fall sun at stage one. And I am actually accruing items at an organic rate. Well, somewhat organic. It feels a little slow this run. Oh, what? How am I supposed to get over there? Can I not? How, how do you want me to? Okay, dude. I knew what that new elite was. I feel like I kind of understand, but like only kind of. I think like if you get nearby, it takes your money and it makes it stronger or something. That is my theory. Are there no chests here? Did I come here for nothing? Oh my gosh. There is nothing here. already? Nah. Great. Well, now I guess I run all the way back over there. Shame Chris Christodulu isn't very good at Risk of Rain. Because it's really cool hearing this music in context. And like, I, I know he's very, very happy with the work that he puts out, but... It's one thing, like, listening to the soundtrack, and it's another thing having it, like, be part of the game experience like this. Like, they just go together so well. Like, this could be a contender for, like, top 10 best, like, marriage of video game and soundtrack, if you were to ask me. I do think it is that good. Oh my gosh, that tree got in the way. Grove Tender? Okay, maybe the little disciple. Come on. 
Yes. Now this might be nice. I wonder if False Sun is affected by Invis. If you can still see me while I'm, while I'm visible, I think I'm completely cooked, because Bandit's whole thing is be invisible, get behind enemy, do a ton of damage. And just keep doing that till enemy is dead. Aw, oh, dang it. There we go. What was it that I said at the beginning of the stream? I wish you'd change like this item. I can't remember now. So if I go to the bazaar now, will Stage 4B Prime Meridian. Ooh. What greens do I have that I would miss? I would miss Guillotine, but I don't think I'd miss anything else, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get that Halcyon seed. Kinda sucks that it really in takes as long as it does. Hmm. I do have pennies though, so maybe it won't be so bad. These guys spawn in there. Fair enough. Oh, children spawn here. Very cool. They do seem to gain a little shield. Oh, that's another one of you guys. I stole a laser from Voidling, very cool. Just what we needed more of. Stop that, don't do that. I don't like the fireball things those children are throwing. No, don't do that. Hopefully Aurelia Knight comes to help me during the boss fight against False Sun. That would be nice. I would be very sad if I had no help at all. And it was just a thing that happens at the end. Although even if it was just a stage 3 thing, phase 3 thing, like I, I couldn't be mad at that. Did I get the one near the tree? Looks like I did. I think I'll spawn the boss now.
Whoa, you guys are feeling like crazy. Stop that. Stacks of hemorrhage going. Okay, we're gonna have to go. There we go. Oh, this does give you a green portal. So they do kind of want you to come here and then go to um, Prime Meridian. See, the sucky thing for me is still I have no healing. I feel like with this boss, they really want you to be healing. sucks. I'm all the way back here, man. Did I seriously get hit by one of them? I couldn't even tell. Ow, bro. Seriously, what is going on? How am I getting hit? I guess it's just if you're in it, regardless of if you're on the ground or not. Dude, what hit me? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. You lose stats so fast in the storm. Like, you get slow incredibly quickly. Oh my gosh. Am I seriously all the way down here? Bro. Like... Well, how is that even remotely fair? I got bumped. The freaking invis didn't work. I'm gonna get killed by the storm because... Dude, that's so unfair. My invis bumped me off, put me back down. I didn't even get a chance to see how Bandit was gonna do. Okay, bro. Okay, well, whatever. It's late. I'm tired. I can't really play anymore right now, unfortunately, as, as much as I would like to. At least we got to see the final boss. That, I'm somewhat happy for that. That is a very difficult boss, though. I don't know how I'm going to approach that. At least solo. I think in multiplayer it might get easier, because, I mean, he can't hit everybody at once. Maybe you have like a dedicated tank, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I got nothing else. Uh, have a good night.